This is a video for how to access and use easybib.com to create a bibliography online. First thing you need to do is you need to open up a web browser and you need to type in easybib.com. Once you go to easybib.com, this will be the page that you come up to. And as you can see, uh, it gives you a few options as far as if you are trying to cite a website, a book, or whatever it might be. Uh, you'll notice that Encyclopedia is not on here, but if you hit the all 58 options, you will find the Encyclopedia option uh, under that category. I'm going to go to one that I've already been working with, and let's say that I need to cite a book. So I'm looking for, and you have to use your packet of information where you wrote your things down in the library or the computer lab in order to do this. But I know the name of my book is called The Great Pyramid. So I will just type in The Great Pyramid, and it's by, uh, the last name of the author is Man. So when I look for The Great Pyramid, it's going to give me a bunch of books that all are titled uh, The Great Pyramid. So I have to scroll down and find the book that I am particularly looking for, and there it is by Elizabeth Mann, The Great Pyramid. So I simply select the book that I'm looking for, and then it will offer all of these options. Uh, and this is all the information that you needed to try to find. And if there's anything that you need to fix, you can fix it. If you don't need to fix anything, then don't worry about it. And then just create your citation. And then you'll notice after you do that, it's going to keep a list of all of the works cited that you are going through and it's keeping them alphabetically like it should. You can see that it's in MLA format. There's my book, Elizabeth Mann. I apologize for this advertisement that keeps playing. Uh, part of the website, it's free, so they gotta pay for it somehow. But you can see that Elizabeth Mann, The Great Pyramid, has all the information, puts it right in there. It's very nice, very easy, keeps it organized, uh, and so forth. The same would be for a website. Uh, all you really have to do is just type in uh, a particular website, uh, say that you want to cite it. It will, again, offer you uh, lots of options as far as things that, you know, hopefully you were able to write down when you were in the computer lab uh, and so forth. Uh, anything that you don't know, leave it blank. Uh, just you know, anything that you weren't able to find, leave it blank, plug in the information that you have. When it's all said and done, create your citation. And again, uh, it'll plug it right in to your bibliography. So once you are done and you have plugged in your websites, your books, and your encyclopedias, here's how we are going to get this so we can print it. You just go to this option that says print as a Word doc. So we'll click on there. And we don't want to register, so we'll just continue without registering. And then it will ask you to download your bibliography. And you can see I get a little download screen that automatically pops up, and there it is. Um, for some of you, you might actually have to click on that. Uh, it, it just depends on the type of machine that you're working with. But mine just pops up. Here it is. Uh, and then you know you can make this bigger and then play with the features if you need to or whatever. But simply just print this out, uh, and that is how we are going to create our bibliography. So it's, again, using easybib.com. And once you're in there, uh, it's pretty easy to work with. You should only be working with websites, books, and encyclopedias. We haven't used anything else. Uh, and, you know, do your best with it. And if you have questions, uh, you can send me an email or try to let me know. But hopefully this helps if you're trying to do this at home. All right. Take care. Good luck.